see in each of the station there will be initially there is a there will be an instruction or scenario here a 62 year old man presently with sudden onset of left side weakness with slurring of speech he is hypertensive for 10 years and diabetic for 8 years on examination his blood pressure was 190 by 120 millimeter marker that is much high his right side plantar was extensor within one hour of onset of symptoms CT scan of brain was done for student you see in uh, to answer the question you have to uh, understand the whole scenario otherwise you cannot answer the questions correctly so the instruction is that you study the CT image and answer the following questions and question one what does the CT scan show? You ask yourself and answer yourself. I will show later you later on the actual answer. What is the diagnosis? Question three. What is the basic mechanism of development of this sign? Question four. List four other CT changes that can be seen in this condition. Now, last question. Question 5. What is the best treatment option at this stage? You see, when we construct a question, there should not be any uh, leading question. But here, uh, there is some leading question. That means, uh, what is the basic mechanism of development of this sign? That means, there is a sign. So, there is a, this is a leading question. We should be there. So, uh, let me show the what should be the standard answer key for the first question uh, city findings you see there is a hyper dense middle cerebral artery sign this is sign this is sign hyper dense middle cerebral artery sign or you can write mca sign on the right so there should be division of mark for right there is some marks and for this sign there is some marks so there should be division of mark that it means for the sign 1.5 mark and for the right side that means maybe 0.5 uh, it is not here but it can be given by division of marks so next question what is the diagnosis so this is for this is the earliest sign of ischemic stroke so this is diagnosis hyperacute ischemic stroke stroke if you say ischemic stroke you will get the half mark if you uh, write hyperacute, then you will get full marks. Though this is not shown here, but somebody will show, show this sort of marking system. That means you, if you write only ischemic stroke, you will get one. If you write hyperacute ischemic stroke, you will get full marks. That is maximum marks you will get. Question three was, what is the basic mechanism development of this sign? That means this sign is due to thrombosis of the proximal part of the middle cerebral artery or you can write m1 that is proximal part m1 segment of the mca and you can get the full marks next list four other city changes that can be seen in this condition in this condition means early ischemic stroke so there are so many uh, features of early city changes you would write this is a you can write from memory that is insular ribbon sign here there is in the silver fissure uh, there is uh, insula and there is hyper density of the insular uh, region lentiform blurring or disappearance of the basal ganglia sign there is disappearance of the basal ganglia and loss of gray matter white matter differentiation you see there is loss of gray matter differentiation and effacement of salsae gyri or you can write cortical hypodensity or you can write hypoatenuated area. This means all the same. So you can see there is effacement of the salsae gyri or there is cortical hypodensity. So what is the best treatment option at this stage? That means what is the best treatment option at the uh, early uh, ischemic stroke? So this is Tissue plasmid activators. This is the modern treatment for early ischemic stroke. Or you can write same thing. You can write IV RTPA 
or you can write at the place. So you see students how the questions are constructed and how the uh, marks are uh, distributed uh, for the uh, each question.